bags. Just a reminder before you get into the show that we have merchandise, yes, and you can find it on our Ugly Truth website. There's a little tab, you can click on it, and then you can peruse to see all of our styles. You can grab a mug or a sticker. We have hoodies and t-shirts. Pretty much anything you would want to show your pride for being an Ugly Truth listener. Thank you so much for supporting us. Enjoy the show. Welcome to The Ugly Truth. This is episode 515. Ugh! Ugh! Welcome, Stephanie. Here we are on a Saturday morning. Blissfully awake. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed with our mm. Red Bull and espressos. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay. Breaking news. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> J-Lo and A-Rod. Okay, so it is... Are they or aren't they? It's not a secret how much I love Jennifer Lopez. Same. As do you. We're both big fans. Um, She's fierce, badass bitch. I don't know. Okay, so the news is, of course, and by the time you listen to the show, we'll probably have a little more detail, but they have called off their engagement. The initial rumor or the initial statement was from TMZ is that they broke up and the engagement was done. Right. But now, this morning, as of the 11th, uh, they did a joint statement to TMZ saying, no, 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 we're still together, you guys. We're just not getting married anymore because we have things to work on. We're trying to work it out. We're trying to yeah. work it out. And then someone goes, well, it's really bad. That The the, the untold source was, well, it's really bad right now. And uh. so they're, I think they're broken up personally. Yeah, it's, but there's it's a, a lot PR to thing. there's a lot to undo. Uh, absolutely, I mean they had a lot. They of live in, together, right? Uh well, they have several homes, right? But so. but they uh, they've in, they have endorsements together. True. They have I think they have partnerships like business partnerships right, right. together. Like I know that they were trying to buy the Yankees or a portion of the oh, wow. a baseball team or something. I mean, not the Yankees, but somebody. Um, their children, yeah. you know, all that shit. They're a messed so, family. I think there's a lot of money that they have to break up. Even though they were never married. Right. So I think that's the holdup personally. Now, I have obviously the tea is always that there's another person in their relationship. Well, yeah, the, the Southern House or Summer. Southern the, Charm. Southern Charm. Yes. That rumor came out like. Like a while ago. About a month ago. Yes. And yes. and the problem with that is that the girl who was being mm -hmm. outed didn't deny it the way you would think that she would. She should have been like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't even know A-Rod. This is insane. I'm just as a big a fan of them as anybody else. Period. Yeah. But no, she's like, well... She just said, well, we texted. She, I mean, even the fact that they texted means they have each other's personal phone numbers. And in the celeb world, that's pretty big. You think J-Lo found her nude? I mean, I think J-Lo knows much more than what she's going to ever admit. Way more powerful than A-Rod, by the way. Right. Probably has a team. And they're just like, 100%. okay, they probably had a meeting. She's like, okay, this is what we know. <laughs> and she got the tea, all of it. Right. All of it. Oh, my God. I want to be that powerful. I, that would be so fun. I would love to be like, all right, I'm getting my communications team together. They're going to do a deep dive and we will have all of this for you in a report tomorrow. Yes. Like, I want that life. That's amazing. But I mean, I wonder, does she have like the regular kind of relationship that we all do where in the middle of the night while he's snoring, does she grab his phone and go in the bathroom? I mean, do they do stuff like that? I think she's next level. I don't think she has to do that. I don't think, I think she there's has, yeah. other ways. She's got eyes and ears ever. So many women love her. They would just see, true. I saw fucking A-Rod in the airport in St. Louis. <laughs> Someone <laughs> let her know. And they'll be like, oh, we already knew. You know, it's right. like, I think, I mean, I could be giving her a lot of credit. No, I think you're but right. But I, I think that she But I mean, a woman's own. intuition is oh, pretty please. strong. I mean, come on. We okay. all know <laughs> when your a, husband's fucking around, even if he's just thinking about it. Even if he's just dirty texting somebody. Yeah. I if mean, I, even if he just likes someone I know in his Darryl, mind and he I, hasn't said it. I know when Daryl has looked at porn. <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, I know. It's like, you just same, know. Same, same. You yeah, I'm trying to think of that. Yes. I, I can I always agree. tell him, just like, you got a weird look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a dog trying to take a shit right now. What's going they on? Just, yeah, men are so bad at Well, they're just stuff. not good. We're no. so good at it. And they're so bad at it. But, and they know it. And that really sucks for them. But, oh, well. I mean, okay, this is super... Super stereotypical generalization, but I'm going to say it. Because I know there's a lot of men that aren't like this. But I have True. yet to meet a Latin man who can be faithful. I've never met one. In my life, I've never met a man who is Latin who has never tried to sow his royal oats. I, ever! That's probably true. I don't... I, I mean, in my personal life, I'm sure there are people like, well, my dad would never. And I'm like, well, that's fine. My dad did. But, I mean, yeah, he was yeah, very yeah. Latin. No, no, I think 100% right. Latin. Well, I mean, they're definitely... Yeah. 
It's a, it's a, They're it's definitely a passionate people. Yes, I they agree. just can't help themselves. They just they, they they love beautiful things. They love beautiful women or men, depending. Right. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter to them. You know, I'm not saying all Latin men are bisexual. What I mean is, it does not matter what their sexual preference is. I have yet to meet a Latin man just, in general just, yeah. who are are like, I'm good. I don't ever need another I'm woman good. or man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I do know, right. I do have, my hairdresser is Latin, and he is very faithful. That's not what I'm that's talking true. about. So that's why I'm saying, in general, it's it's not cool it's to not generalize. It's not like everyone. Yeah, yeah. But in general, I've never <laughs> met a heterosexual Latin man who has ever been completely 100% right, faithful. Right, And I guess it depends on what your definition of faithful is. I mean, to me, it's not... Just having like intercourse with somebody. If I would, first of all, let's put. I would never ever date or marry a Mexican guy yeah, in a million I years. Either. Just well, they're too much cheese for me. But and they're very controlling. Yeah. I did I ever. Okay, you're a part of this. A <laughs> hundred years know. ago, you and I went out a lot. We did. We went out and partied a lot together. Yes. And we met Good some. Times. We met some boys who were heading off to AAA spring training. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that evening? I hundred percent remember. <laughs> okay. So the guy that I ended up with was Mexican. Yeah, that the, the details are a little fuzzy, but I definitely remember. We went back to their place. Like, I don't remember what they looked like. He was really cute. Yeah. Really cute. Well, I think they were all cute, right? They, oh, yeah. They were so cute. And so, I don't remember any of them being ugly. And uh, I, I was going to hook up with this guy, and you were like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I'll be right back. Yeah, pretty sure I was like, stop it. It was so <laughs> dumb. And so we went into his place. The place is covered in... Baseball shit, spring training manuals, like, they were legit. Yeah. And so uh, we started making out. He was so sexy. And then, yet, all he wanted me to do was suck his dick. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, I don't do that. (laughs) I'm like, I mean, I would, but I'm like, you you first. And he's like, well, why don't you do me first? I'm like, oh, no, homie. Doesn't work that way. I'm not doing that shit. And it ended. Right. And he goes, well, if you're not going to do it, I'm like, I am not. Unless you plan on doing it to me first. I'm like, you selfish asshole. And so I'm like, all right, done and done. We walk out. You're all like, thank God. Well, I don't know what it was. Were you that- raped? I'm like, <laughs> not even. <laughs> like, we're I leaving. felt, like, really protective of you for some reason. You did. I think it's because I had been around the block, like, 6,000 yeah. times. And I felt like you hadn't. <laughs> yeah. And I was trying to somehow protect you from that life epitome of to me of exactly what I expected from a guy like that and so yeah. I'm like no you know and I know Ew. those girls I'm glad that it worked out that I way I know those girls who were like well I sucked his dick and I'm like well, what else they're like well that's it I'm like gross ew that is no, so disgusting thank you. you know what I have it's so weird about that for me giving head is yeah. like the last thing I'll do literally like I have you have to be a boyfriend yeah. or somebody I'm seriously dating or I a know. husband or it ain't happening I have never been that but you can fuck either. me <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. I have had sex. People are like, well, it's way more intimate to to actually have sex. No. I'm like, to me, it's not. You got your face in his balls. I'm (laughs) sorry. I'm, right. That is way more intimate. It's just very one-sided. Yeah, and so I really have selfish. to love you. Yeah, I really have to care about you a lot to do that. I have heard that in that the new gens are all about oral first. Yeah. But I'm like, oh. No, not. No, thank you. No, I couldn't. I don't want to do it. Anyway. Yeah. So, yes, I know I'm making a lot of very boisterous, loud generalizations about Latin men. But I, like I said. That's I've, just your experience. It's all good. Well, We I all mean, have our own. Maybe it's because our dad was such a philanderer. Like, he never could totally. help himself. Yeah. And I've yet to meet one that hasn't been that way. But, I mean, you know, that's just You never me. know. Yeah. I mean, I have friends who are full Latinas and married to Latin men. Mm. And they seem very faithful. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, even girlfriends at work don't share everything. Well, not only that, but, I mean, what does that mean? I mean, they're usually flirtatious. They're that's usually, true. Like, they are. They're charming. Very, they're charismatic. Yes. Under all of that. And I would hate that so much. Yeah, and then it you would get bug the, me. You get the one whore who goes, well, if he's going to be flirtatious, I might as well send him my boobs. Right. Or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, see, and here we are. And I'd be like, and why the fuck does she even have your phone number, asshole? Like, Completely. And so for me, it's like, I'm not playing that game. I'm not doing that. I don't even want to, yeah. Doing it. I don't even want to go there. Yeah, right? I guess it's just men in general. I don't know. Anyway. But you're right. My point is that um, I don't well, know if that's why they broke up, but I'm sure it was like, well, who else don't I I mean, about? the timing <laughs> was just too coincidental that that rumor came out. Mm. And then I read that girl's statement about it. Yes. And I was like, you know what? I don't like that. And if no. I'm J-Lo, I would be do just like you said. I'm yeah. like, oh, we are going to find out. We're finding out everything now. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we- And you know what? He's a celebrity. And celebrities oh, are like, you know, they Big have time. the world at their fingertips. Any woman they want. Baseball players in general. Right? <laughs> and I mean, very come rich. on. A-Rod is hot. He's so cute. Yeah. 
very, very attractive. He's his he's a body big, giant, yes, massive, muscular dude. Uh, there is not a woman on earth who's like, I don't care if your girlfriend's J Lo. <laughs> if you want to go there, wasn't hasn't he been hooked up some, with some amazing looking yes. women? Like all all lots. Oh slots, my god! Right? Like, had, didn't he date Kate Hudson for a minute? Possibly. He like literally dated ago. everyone. Like when that's why when I found Madonna. out J Lo was with ew yeah, <laughs> she's gross. <laughs> Well, now oh. she's old. Now you know she 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 rubs me the wrong way. She didn't used to rub me the wrong way when she was young, but as she got older, she got that whole complex of like, I am the god of everything. Goddess. And I'm like, you know what? You never sang that With her good. Kabbalah shit. Yes, yeah. She mm-hmm. just was never that good. And then she was married yeah. to that guy, guy, the snatch guy, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Why yeah. was he a snatch guy? That's the name of his movie, Snatch. Oh my god! It wasn't about vaginas though. Well, he also it was, about, it was a theft movie, like oh, okay. robbery. He also directed the second, the live action Aladdin. He did? He did. And that's how I knew who he was. Oh. Because I was like, wait, that name sounds familiar. And so I Googled him. I'm like, that was the guy that Madonna had the kid with. And, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, he's gross. But I absolutely love that movie. So The thing with Madonna is when she first came out. Like a virgin. <laughs> hey! Okay. She was really cool. And she, yes. there was no one like her. Totally. But and I loved her and still do. Literally, I, well, I, Des- Desperately Seeking Susan was one of my most favorite movies of all time. I love that movie, I love that movie so much. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's I so great because it. it's like, who doesn't want to break free and escape from their yuppie lives? Especially and Roseanne Arquette. A yeah. dirty, dirty city person, right? Right. But there was a scene where Madonna was literally like changing her shirt because she had like sweat stains and stuff. And from that point on, I'm like, does the woman ever shower? And so yes. from that point forward, I'm like, she never looks clean to me. And she she went through a phase where she wasn't shaving her pits. Um, Oh my god! And I can't with that. That's right. I I'm like, okay, I understand. That. You know, don't wear a bra. Do be free. Want. You know, we shouldn't have to do these things. <laughs> but I don't want to see it. <laughs> but I think it's gross. I'm it's, like, I would never do it. Personally. I don't feel pressured to shave my pits. By the way, I no, do it I do because I want to. I want to. Yes. Every day, I I do it every day personally. Same. But I don't know why. It's I, you know what? Because if I like. If I don't shower in the morning and do it all the things, and I, because I'm working or I'm doing whatever, whatever. Sometimes and then I it's do like five o'clock at night, and all of a sudden I'm feeling kind of like I feel pokey or Clammy something, and I'm and like, pokey. I gotta get out! I, gotta yeah. get out. I, have to I can't shower. stand sitting in my own skin. No, I 100%. have to shower immediately. Well, it's just like men, you know, they have to shave pretty much every day, or they have stubble. I know, you know? that's true. Even Daryl, really? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's pretty much by anybody. five o'clock he's got a baby beard. Oh, I know, isn't that funny? <laughs> and he's got like little gray in it. I don't and think stuff. I've ever seen him with a beard or oh he does he does vacation beard so like so he, does jerry he does vacation he gets his thick stubble and like by day five i'm like oh so you really got that going on right oh he's God. like do you like it and i'm like not really but you know do what you want your yeah, hair do you i'm like i don't care and that's the thing is he's so paranoid that i'm gonna judge him or i'm not gonna let him Never. kiss me or whatever and i'm like it's your hair i don't care what you do with yourself right just don't be gross don't be like a grizzly adam's beard though because i might have a, f- a problem with that i'm not a fan of that but i mean i know some women just don't mind it but i i'm not i a do fan. it looks like pubic hair i don't like it either tyler tries to grow it my son he tries to grow it out and i'm like you know what son if you want to do it that's fine <laughs> but can we clean up the neck and you know, can yeah. we like make it look like something well i don't mind it on other people but yeah, I, I just oh, not going to be on anyone it. that i'm going to click kiss or whatever and I mean, what's funny is tyler's hair is red it's like comes in kind of red he's, he's so blonde. cute he could get away with anything in my book i put, know put him in a paper bag and he's adorable <laughs> he tries so hard to be ugly too why? Because he just he can't. He's, he's just it's impossible. I know. He doesn't understand it. He's the cutest it. thing ever. He doesn't understand. He's like, I don't understand it. I'm like, Tyler, you're cute. <laughs> I hate to tell you. You should hear. I tell I tell my son that all the time. I'm like, Tyler, or Tyler, listen Jeff, to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Jeff, you are so freaking cute. I'm like, and I know I'm your mom and everything else, but, but I'm you telling are. you, you're I'm like, you are going to be adorable your whole life. Yeah, you're he so is. lucky. He's, he's like, going to be nice and tall and lanky. He's like, I know, mom. You tell me that all the time. <laughs> I'm like, because it's true. He's going to start believing you. No, what was funny is, Tyler went into where the girl, my the girls, Mackenzie and Malia, they work at a cafe, a bakery. Right. And so they said, yeah, Tyler, come in. We'll make you a vegan sandwich because he's vegan. Yes. God, and half so, your kids are, all your kids are. Jesus. It's like, no, except for Malia. Malia's like, I will never give up tacos. <laughs> I'm like, good. She's not going to start eating beyond tacos? Nope, no. Ugh. So he went in there and he got his little vegan sandwich and sat and just ate his little meal. And then he left. And he's like, thank you, everyone. And then he left. And of course, they're like, who is that? Damn. Ew. And they're like, Leon Malone, he's our brother. You know. Gross. I yeah. Know. He's like, really? He goes, I look like shit today. I didn't even shower. And I'm like, Tyler, it doesn't Stop matter. Stop it. It doesn't matter. I um, like the fact that he's humble, but I hope somewhere inside of him he knows. He's not that humble. He's very he's very concerned about his clothing and, you know. He, <laughs> he likes, said he tried to be ugly. Well, he tries, but it's not possible because he still, you know, wears his 
collared shirts. I know. God, he's so cute. He was so cute when I was here the other day. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, with that being all said. By the way, everybody, Jamie's son is really cute. (laughs) If you haven't figured it out, he's cute. Okay. So, yes. So, I, I think that they are officially kaput. I think yeah. that J-Lo and A-Rod are done and that he don't give a shit. And she's like, I'm out. Here's what I wish. I wish that she would stop getting engaged. Yeah. Stop procuring the rock. You can buy, you You have the Jenny from the block. You can buy your own rocks, remember? Oh, she has her own rocks. You don't yeah. need a man to do this. You have the have the man, but you don't need, the, I mean, I understand. Well, I mean, she's Latina too. You got Super her. traditional. Yeah. Want, but she's not, ha- she's over 50. She's not having any more children. Yeah. So it's not about that. So I get that she wants the... You know, she's like Elizabeth Taylor. She believes in marriage. She yes. believes in love. And if you love someone, you get married. I totally, I'm cool with it. Yeah. But perhaps she should take a step back and go, why is it the second I get engaged to a man, shit goes south? Like, yeah. what is up with that? Well, I mean, they've been together for a while. They have been. And it's, it's like. It's been years. It's been a two-year engagement. And they put it off twice. And to me, those were red flags. The first time they put it off, I'm like, oh, you know, coronavirus, whatever. And then they did it again. And I'm like. What are you doing? Because you have the money to literally rent an island if you wanted to. You right? don't have to, like, wait. No. And no one cares about your reputation because you're going to do whatever you want. You know, you've literally performed at every single function this year. True. So she, that's not a, it. She's like one of those people who it's like, like Tom Brady, who it's yeah. like, when is it enough? You've done everything. everything. You know, I mean. Yeah. We so, all love you. You don't have to prove anything anymore. No, you're successful. You've done it. You've got the supermodel. You've got the beautiful children. You're everything. vegan. We got it. Is she vegan? They are vegan, yeah. Oh. Tom Brady's vegan. Oh, Tom Brady. Yeah, oh, yeah oh, we're no. back on him. I'm like, no, wait, no. I was well, using him Brady. as an example. Sorry. Yeah, I was no. saying like, but J-Lo, no, J-Lo does has done to... it all. She she could li- she will never stop working. She loves to work. She is a workaholic. She loves it. No. I, I just don't think there is a man that can handle her. I think she's just a, a lot. She's one of those... She is a man. She is her own man. She's true. That's true. I think she needs a non-celebrity. She tried that, but who? who? Well, the, Casper. Remember, she was fucking that little dancer toy boy toy forever. That little guy for like. Was off it and just on. one of her dancers? He was a dancer, like Mariah yeah. Carey. Yes. With what's his name? Yes. Brian Tabe- yes. Tanaka. Yeah. They they pick up these dancers. They I go, don't get it. Can you imagine a guy because like they're they're young and hot, and you're like, why I, not? Brian Tanaka is not that hot. I no, mean, that's true. He well, and Mariah that. Carey is a lot of woman. Not only is she a lot of woman personality wise, <laughs> but physically. Basically, she's not a small person, and I'm not saying she's no, fat. She's tall. And she's just big. She's a yeah, tall she's woman. Yeah, yeah, she is. So I'm like, and then she has this little pipsqueak of a boyfriend. J Lo's the same. She's like, because J Lo's like five six, five yeah, seven. Yeah, she is. I'm so fucking jealous. But A Rod's huge. Well, he so they were is like perfect. Six, whatever, almost seven feet tall. But I met with what's his, what's his name? All the other ones Anthony. that were dancer. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I the think father she, of her children. <laughs> I think she really loved him, but well, he was a lot of Latin, and he was not a faithful same. either. Same. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, so. 100%. What a he fool. Was, Who cheats on J-Lo? I'm like, what, are you, what is better than that? Uh, any other Latin woman that he hasn't <laughs> had yet? He married, a Miss, he married a Miss Universe after her. Oh, uh, Michael Anthony? Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. Mark yeah, Anthony. That's oh, they were good together, though. I they were to cute say. together. But he's not that cute to me. He's so. not cute. He, he's not cute at all. But you know what? He's suave. He is very suave. And then he was just like, oh, I love J-Lo. And she's like, oh. <laughs> She married him twice. Twice. <laughs> Must have been good. God. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. So J-Lo, you're, you're going to be all right. You're, She'll be you're fine. Yeah. A-Rod's a schmo. <sighs> he's an idiot. He's just a dude. I mean, he's just a guy. Well, and she's really just a girl, but she is I know, but so she's like gorgeous. a brand. She's more than, she's a brand. She's everything. <laughs> I want her to do another movie so badly. All right. Yeah, anyway, body. okay. So the, so the other thing that you and I want to talk about briefly is uh, the Meghan Markle, oh, Harry. Oh, Harry interview. What what is his last name? Harry uh, Spencer? <laughs> no. William and Harry. Do they even have a last name? <laughs> yes, I'm sure they do. Isn't it? What's Charles's last name? Elizabeth? I don't even know. I don't know because Winter? we call him King, you know, Prince Charles and Prince Harry. I think and it's, Prince I think William. it's, I want to say it's like when, when Kensington? I, no, that's Kensington Palace. I don't know. Okay, anyway, you know what? That's interesting. I don't we even should know, know this, though. Okay, yeah, so right. Megan and Harry did an interview with Oprah. Okay, I know a lot of people don't like... I was so happy to see Oprah do her thing. I she miss was, seeing her! Yeah, I did too, and she was very... She was. She, it reminded me of why I used to like her. I fucking love Oprah Winfrey, and she I was love her. She's normal. Like, she's, she's so... I mean, I know she's a billionaire, yeah. but you wouldn't really know it by no. the way she talks. She's I so love her. real. I, yeah. love, I love watching her do her thing. First yeah. of all, who knew Meghan Markle was so connected? 
connected. Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey, really? Yeah, I had no idea. Wow, I mean, that was the biggest shocker to me. I, I don't know that she was necessarily connected with them before she married I don't know, man. I, I have a feeling that she kind of knew because she had a lot of the advocacy work. And so I think that because of her work with women empowerment, I think that's how she kind of got Probably, into that. But I think that it was much easier for her to be like, you know, people reaching out like, hey, we know you're having issues. Yeah, if maybe. you ever do come to the United States, you know, you I got you, girl. I cannot believe Tyler Perry that to Gave me was like, house or let him well, just let them house. stay in because he has like a compound. Yeah, I saw it. And it's like. How did that happen? I mean, it's very cool. Yeah. But so some of the revelations were surprising. A, yeah. a, a few of the revelations were surprising. But my my general thing was this. These were my giant takeaways. One, I think that the mental health thing, that really struck a chord with me. And when she got, when she started to get really like sincerely emotional, yeah, I felt that. And I'm like, okay, that's real. That is real. And I think when that happened, and why do they fuck with these women when they're pregnant? I never got that. I think they're they, so I, I mean think to they, them. I think they don't care whether they're God. pregnant or not. It's like they just don't take it into consideration. That it's thing, not part of it. That what really struck me. And then the whole family discussion about his skin color was yeah. really offensive. And yeah, I'm absolutely. like, you know, because I think if I had married, if Daryl had been black and we had, if you would never say, so how dark do you think the baby would I be? I mean, you wouldn't say that in a normal family. And I'm not. Believe me, I'm. I'm. It's disgusting. I was like, God. I wasn't. I actually wasn't. The that curiosity surprised. of what a baby will look like with two mixed with two different races is not uh, in and of itself racist. Yeah. But the reality is, is if you do even a moderate dive into the monarchy, you know that they don't like people of color. Well, that's what I was about to say. And and their number one priority is image. Yes, hundred percent, always. Everything. Yes. So yes. of course. The way you look, no matter who you are, mm-hmm. is is going to be a topic of discussion. Yes. It's, is it right? No. no. Especially in this modern age, you know, it's like, look, you really need to get over that. Let it fucking go. Well, that is the key word, Stephanie, is modern, because the monarchy isn't about that. No, they aren't. They don't want to change. They're about preserving, yes. A, th- a, th- a 1,500-year legacy. But here's the legacy. thing. Here's the thing that I found interesting is that although I agree with all that, mm-hmm. I think a majority of English people like it the way it is they do so yeah why would you change something that's working for you the they're not there to please americans and what we think in the press right they're there to pre- to to preserve what's their working for them country. in their own country and their yes. own people it's stuff that i don't think that your average english citizen would want to admit because they probably don't of even course realize they wouldn't know they just know that if they and it you know i hear this all the time where they go well you know, we think in like two to ten years the monarchy will be dead. There won't be one. I go, you guys have been saying that for like Forever. a thousand years. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Ever. Yeah. You, it's you, it's you, their you guys, thing. You guys thought Spain was coming to take over 1,500 years ago. And uh, shockingly, it didn't happen. So yeah. I'm just saying, it's, I don't think social media's taken them down. Okay? It's their thing. And honestly, you know, Americans have a love and fascination with the royal family. They do. They do. I yeah. think it's because it's it's different to us. It's We're very like, unusual. So weird, you know, like to yeah. have, right? Um, but Some people like... I think that what what people like about it is, first of all, we're a very young country and we don't have kings and queens, right. even though we are a product of leaving that. True. And so we go back and we, and because we know that history, that we are uh, basically, we declared independence as a colony. And after that, I mean, when colonies leave England, it's a big deal. Yeah, it is. And so I think we, we just look at that and go, wow, they're still around. Well, what do you know? Here's the thing, how I, I generally felt about the interview. I will, yeah, go ahead. I mean, unless you wanted to finish your nope. your thought. I was, all, all I was no. going to say is that it was long, okay? It was two hours. I watched it with a completely open mind. Me too. And as the, as the, because it was so long, it really allows your mind to like... Absorb. Yes, mm-hmm. absorb and, and, and watch her body language and listen yeah. to what she's saying. I was very surprised with how articulate and intelligent she was because I knew nothing of Meghan Markle before. It's because of all of her work married, with women empowerment. Yeah, so yeah. I was really impressed mm-hmm. by that. Yes, very impressed. But her. What, I, what I basically got out of it was that she married into some – she fell in love with the man – and unfortunately, when you marry a prince, mm. there's so much more to it than the man that you love. Yes. And I think that's where she was really naive. And part of me has sympathy for her because I get how it feels to fall in love with someone, madly fall in love with someone. And I definitely believe that they are madly in love. I, I think that's very clear. So real to yes. me. Yes. Um, but you, you know, you have to consider those things before you dive in. Marriage is difficult under the best of circumstances. Here's, here's, here's the problem that I have with 
Meghan Markle's revelations of unwittingly going, it's not what you think it is. You know, you have this fairy tale outlook of it because we're Americans and da da da. And then you get in it. I don't either. And here's the other thing, though. She was obsessed with Princess Diana when she was a kid. Obsessed with her. Oh. And does no one remember when she said that? Like years ago where she said, oh, I was obsessed with Princess Diana. I watched the wedding. I watched the funeral. And I was uh, like, oh, my God. No, and I didn't. Because like I said, I, I wasn't necessarily convinced that he, Harry was going to marry her initially. She went out of her way specifically in this interview to say, oh, well, we didn't talk about the royals she did. in our I didn't family. Google and my I'm like, husband. that's a fucking lie. Yeah, it's bullshit. It was a lie. Because because yeah. I remember how, when you said you were obsessed with her because you thought she was so amazing and how she stood out and she was vocal and she was about women and children. And I'm like, all that's great, but don't sit here and say, I just thought Harry was just a guy. I was and completely was, naive. That's, yeah. that's a lot. No. And so the other thing is, is that Harry to her was a good deal because... He, he was gonna be never going to be king, but he was always going to be a royal. And then she could do philanthropic work and have her that be her thing for the rest of her life. Right. Her children were going to be heirs. And, and she and, wouldn't have to worry about it. And, right. you know, she. I think that she was thinking of all the positives that come with being royal, which is not a lie. It is true. It is true. And so, but what she didn't check at the door was the fact that maybe Harry saw her as his mother because she's very independent, she's vocal, she's an actress, which is not the first actress he's dated. No. And also is black. Yeah. Even all, even though she's only half black, it doesn't matter. She was going to have a difficult time and he knew it and he was happy to make it difficult for his family. A hundred percent. But they fell in love for but, real. But Harry was always the, the black sheep in the family. Very rebellious. Always. Didn't give a shit. And whenever he broke free... It was really bad. Yeah. And well, then, I mean, then you didn't see him for months. Parts of parts of me understands that. I really totally. do. And because he knows he's never going to be king. So, he so can, he's like, why am I living this life of like solitude and, right. and seriousness and everything yes. when I'm never going to be the king? I don't. I, I just, just want to live my life. I'm just really happy that they truly fell in love because yeah. I both think they came in with unconscious motive like they Agreed. didn't know that they were doing it but they were like thank god we really love each other because when we sit down with a the therapist we'll be like you realize your obsession with diana and your <laughs> anger that your mother died because of the press right. has created this right yeah and i feel bad for them and i also think that megan was like i didn't realize that i had to check my independence at the door yeah well you should have that's like if you married the president yeah. of the united states i mean yeah you're for the rest I'm of sorry. your life you for cannot, the rest of your life yeah you cannot deny that that is going to be a very real part of your life and when you're american we are so spoiled we oh, are yeah. so used to doing whatever we want to do saying whatever we want saying whatever we want yes. doing what whatever yes. we want making whatever choice we want and she goes to england i mean they are <laughs> conservative when she's like i have to turn over my passport my keys i'm like well yes i don't even know that much but i'm like do you not watch the crown and do you not see <laughs> For God's sake! I know, right? I mean, and I just think I would have been like, you know, let me really know what this life, what my life is going to be like before I say yes to this man. And yes, I love him yeah, desperately, but <laughs> but can I resign myself to living what this is going to be? Which is not American, and anymore. it's not American. And so part of me, you know, and and when and the thing is, is when Harry joined the interview, it was like two different people were they were talking about two different lives. Completely. I think he he's really angry. At who, though? His family. I think he's angry he's at his family. I agree. I agree. He's but also I, pissed that he got cut off well, financially. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's billions of dollars that he I does mean, not, and, you no know, longer has like, access when, to. When, when at first, when they were talking about him getting cut off and everything, I was, you know, my initial emotional reaction was, you know, that is fucked up. You know, he taking his security detail away. They did it to Diana, too, though. But, however, I do know that the monarchy and all of that, they very much run as a business. A, I, I learned that on the crowd. The firm, the institution. It is. I mean, they they truly have the best interest of that establishment. And the, by the way, they do. The queen has no power over that. N no, because she, she's not just, in a lot of things. She's temporary. That's she the thing. Is. And so the establishment. I mean, and my God, the queen is so old. She's the longest running <laughs> queen of monarch ever in the history of life. I keep thinking Charles is going to die, and he's, he's never. Too. He's what? never going to get the chance to be king. Oh my God! Because I mean, how bad would that? I thought suck? about that. It's like I've been waiting my whole you know what? life to be king. I don't feel sorry for Charles. He got the one. He got the woman that he wanted Camilla. at the end of the day because Diana died. He was able to marry Camilla. His is it, soulmate. Is it Camilla? Is that yeah. her name? And you know what? Every time I think of that name, do you know who Camilla is in the Muppets? No, she's Gonzo's remember. chicken. <laughs> Cute, but 
I love Camilla. He loves Camilla. Doesn't she wear a little daisy in her hair? Well, he, it's like it's like his pet. You know, it's like his, oh, it's it's like his, his girlfriend. It's his girlfriend. He loves her. He's he like, loves her and my like adorable. And Gonzo, you're so hideous, but you love her. But I love Gonzo too. I do love right? Gonzo. So I, oh my every god! Every time I say Camilla, that's who you I think, think of. The of. Little walk, walk. <laughs> I know. Yes. Oh my god. So, so and I hate her. I hate I her. I do not like Camilla at all. And if you have you caught up all completely on the crown yet? I have not watched the last season. Okay, I I've am been about, putting it off because I I need alone time. I am about four or five episodes into the last season. I have not completed it. And one of the reasons is is I don't want to see Diana die. Yeah. And so and I don't know if it ends there. I just don't want to. I, so I is there going to be it. one more season? There. You know my uh, my. My lovely, wonderful friend Neil, who used to do my hair, because because of the COVID, everything's changed. I cannot afford him anymore, right. which is fine. <laughs> I miss him terribly, though. But um, he is really into all of that British royal monarchy stuff, yeah. and he told me that they before anybody said anything, he goes, "Oh no, they're going to skip one or two years because of the whole Meghan Markle thing to and put some distance between it." Well, they're just trying to or see how it plays out. I think they're going to they're seeing how it's going to play out, and I think that there is going to be some discussion of how they're going to. I think they're going to end with it. Like they want to end with this whole Meghan coming in and leaving and. How it's so reminiscent of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth's uncle who abdicated the right. throne, and so I think there's a lot of similarity. And then when you look at how her own sister Margaret tried desperately to leave and then couldn't let the money go, right? I think that's what this is. It's like, do you want the money, yeah. or do you want to just live this life, or do you want to live on? Because you can absolutely go and leave and yeah. be fine. So why just when he be was rich. saying that? Oh, and my brother's trapped. He can't leave, and I'm like, actually, he could. Yeah. He but he knows, he knows what he's walking away from, yes. and he doesn't want to. <laughs> Some people, you know, in the monarchy, you are raised to have a sense of, of uh, loyalty totally. to and service to the country. And Absolutely. if you believe that you are ordained by God to be this, you're not going anywhere. And, and Harry goes, well, I wasn't ordained by God. I'm just the second. I'm the backup. You know, and he's not yeah. even the backup anymore because now Harry, William has children. That's true. So he's a like, cut the line. So it's yeah. like, forget it. Anyway, so I know more about, I mean, if, if I fell in love they with They dated a, for two years. Yes. She and it's knew like, what it was like. If I had fallen in love with a royal, I'd be like, okay, hold up. First of all, you know that I'm not all white, right? And he'd be like, yeah, sure. I'm like, so am I coming in to piss everybody off yes. or what's the deal? Like, like those discussions were not had. Yeah, I like because really, I mean, yeah. I'm not even that stupid. No, I really feel like she fell in love with the idea. Of, I think she fell in yeah. love with Harry, but I mean, the sure. rest of it was like, yes, I'll be a philanthropist and I'll travel yeah. the world, and everyone will love me because I'm so amazing. And by and, the way, they did love her, right? Just not. She was just not getting the support that she expected to get. Like I thought this was a family. It's like no, this is a fucking business. Yes, you're you're gonna be on a plate. And they're going to make a billion dollars off of you. Harry said, Oprah goes, do you think you would have left the family if it not had been for your wife? And he's like, no, <laughs> never. Can you imagine? I mean, I was Don't like. Don't you think they've gone rounds on this? I would have been like, I would have punched him in the back. I would have been like, because they were holding hands. I'd be like, squeeze. I'm like. Don't you think they've gone rounds on this? I hate the awkward holding hand thing. Like, what was that? Well, he, I mean, he pulled away a couple times. And yeah, I'm just like, it's dumb. Why like, is he so they mad? Been for four years. You really don't hold hands after, like, the first six months to a year. Unless, I mean, I'm not saying you never do. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, publicly, or, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, at inopportune times when you're in front of other people. And it would, yes. be, it would be weird to do I don't it. do that with Daryl, even. I mean. The only time Jerry and I will hold hands, it's usually like some benign moment. Or we're walking or whatever. And, and even then, it's like, okay, we'll hold it for a couple of hands. And I'm I like, can't, I don't like doing it. I have it. to let go. I feel strapped I down. just feel trapped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, you know what? And when you have children, it's even worse. Like if I was sitting in an interview with Daryl for, for some weird reason and he started touching me, I'd be like, why? <laughs> we would have had that discussion before. I'd be like, please don't. Okay? Like if you do it, for just do it's it like, briefly. You know what? I'll touch your ha- I'll touch your arm If you feel or the whatever. need, but make sure it's like five seconds. Because they'd be like, well, do you guys want to couch your chairs? And we'll chairs. <laughs> I don't want a couch. I'm fine. I'm going to be right. so concerned about how fat my ass looks sitting down right? that I'm just going to be like, I don't want to worry about Daryl touching me. I know. Please. And she did look really good, though, by she the way, for being she's super pregnant. She, I think she, they said summer, so she's probably doing like May June. and June. Yeah, that's like yeah. two months from now. Yeah, so, she yeah, definitely she is very her pregnant. Yeah, and she's so second. cute. She was beautiful. Very, very pretty. And, she's like, and they're like, no, this is it. I'm like, well, bitch, you're 43. I mean, like, you can't have any more. You're going <laughs> to. Is she gonna, really that old? She's in her 40s. And so I mean, I'm like, not that that's old, but I'm just. It's old to have a baby. For, for birthing, it is. Come on. Yes. 
Um, okay, so did you come up with an ugly and awkward moment of the week? No, because we've been talking like okay. crazy. Okay, well, I have one. Good. So let's do my ugly and awkward moment of the week. I told you before the show, I have been going to the dentist quite a bit. I'm doing, I'm having a little bit of cosmetic work done, but I also had to have a crown put in. I mean, it's just, it's constant. Yeah. Um, And so. So terrible. As you know, I kind of have a crush on my dentist. I know. Everyone knows. Um, So when we talk, he talks like this with all of his patients because when I was there waiting to get numb and stuff, I could hear him talking. So it's, I'm not, I don't have anything special. He's charismatic. He's very lovely. So initially um, we were, we were talking about something and um, I get really anxious, obviously, when I go to the dentist, but he's, I trust him so much that all is well. Somehow I brought up my colonoscopy. <laughs> and I said, yeah. Lovely. And I said, yeah, it was really great because he was talking about it how they, great. they sedate people there at the office. Right. And I said, yeah, it was great. I go, he goes, oh, he goes, were you knocked out or were you just like lightly sedated? And I'm like, um, I think I was knocked out. I had dreams. <laughs> he's like, I like to be sedated so that I can watch the procedure. He's a fucking doctor. Ew. Of course he does. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, that sounds terrible. He goes, oh, I really enjoy it. I'm like, okay, well, God's <laughs> speed, dude. I, I would never. <laughs> right? What if you felt something? He's like, well, I've had like a half a dozen now. And I'm like, are you all right? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, so we were talking. He goes, they gave me propofol in the last one. And I said, oh, that's what I had too. And he goes, I was so angry. <laughs> and I was like, not me. And I go, oh, and by the way, I don't have any polyps. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's not awkward. Because he totally was probably wondering. <laughs> so then I say, he goes, yeah, it's really interesting. We use the same medications as they do. I go, oh, because people wake up really fast. He goes, exactly. Yes. And I said, yeah. I go, I wouldn't mind being sedated for dental work, but it's such a thing. It's not easy to, you know, because you could die and stuff. And he's like, yeah, right. <laughs> And I said, so I don't mind the numbing and I can feel, you know, I can't feel anything. He goes, you know, it's funny because I must have been acting anxious. He says, yeah. you know, when kids can't feel, they go, it's, I can't feel my tooth. Is it gone? You know? And so he said, give me your hand. <laughs> and so I did like this patty cake hand. And I go, here. <laughs> and, I like, and I'm laying down, by the way. She's putting her hand up like high five. And I'm laying down. So I go like this. I go, here. And he goes, OK, well, anyway. So he grabs my finger and he's showing me how, to, how he shows children, how they numb. Yes. And in my mind, I'm like, he's touching me. <laughs> so i'm trying really hard to be cool and it's like you can't be cool oh my god excuse me i have cotton in my mouth oh my god the whole no. thing was odd it was like oh so awkward i'm like so here we are colonoscopy review so typical well i guess my awkward moment would be at your house last weekend when i told a family member <laughs> that i hadn't seen in years that they had lunch all over their shirt oh <laughs> That's right. That was literally the first thing out of my mouth as I was greeting them. You're like, hello, you have lunch on your shirt. I'm like, yes, you look fabulous. Look at there's lunch all over your shirt. I felt like immediately as the words <laughs> were coming out of my mouth, yes. I felt like a fucking idiot. You're like, oh. I was, I'm like, God, let me just crawl oh, under a God. rock and die. Oh, so, so funny. Well, we'll forever be awkward. Um, all right. Indeed. So make sure you check my TikToks on the Ugly Truth oh, Instagram. God, I've been obsessed with TikTok lately. I love Instagram TikToks are putting them on my feed. And I think yeah. people are starting to look forward to them because... Are you putting them on your own feed or No, on just ugly? on the Ugly Truth Instagram. Okay. Um, and so I do three because it seemed like when I was doing more than four, people would not be watching those because they were like, all right, enough already. Enough, you know? yeah. So three is plenty. So because it takes me so long to curate three, you know, I'm so picky. Yeah. So I've got them up now. <laughs> And what I noticed this morning when I was putting up new ones, I put them up and like I got immediately like 10 people were like waiting. So like oh, now that people are looking forward to them, I'm super stoked about that. So anyway. I too. Well, I'll have to look too because they must yes. be funny. Well, what's funny is I tell every day, I'm like, hey, uh, producer Dub, have you looked at the curations for TikToks? <laughs> and he's like, Jamie, no, I, I'm busy. And I'm like, it takes three seconds. <laughs> look up now. And he's like, fine, God. He's like, yes, very funny. Okay. Well, then it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, know. you can't. I'm like, never mind. You don't even know. It has to be organic when he looks. Of course it is. But he just, he goes, I'm just so bad at it. I'm like, get better. <laughs> but anyway, um, so before we close for the day, I was able to procure a partnership with a new brand that we have been trying to uh, do for quite some time. And so we're going to probably kick that off in a, in the next week or so because it takes a little bit of work to get the partnership, you know, all the links and stuff put yeah. up on the website. But 
we got a sample of the product and it's Loom. L-U-M-E. It's Loom. It's deodorant. But Is it, it pronounced Loom or Loomy? I don't know. Because I've had, met, there's different people who pronounce it different ways. Loom or Loomy. Well, there is a little thing over the E. Yeah. So, I'm, or is it Lume? There's no way it's Lume. Not with their ads. <laughs> right? I thought it was Loom. Okay. We'll say Lume. I don't know. We'll say Lume. Well, Whatever. we need to find out. We will find out. But uh, I gave you the sample to try so it. So you don't have a sample? I don't. Why did you give me? We should have split them. There's seven or six of them in there. I, I don't mean, know. Literally. I just wanted you to have them to see. Oh, my God. I wanted a, a non-biased opinion on them, and I wanted to hear it from but the I, person. But I have been eye spying this product for a long time. What, inter- long before I knew that you were even. Interestingly, yeah. a lot of people have. And so because I. Because their ads are so damn funny. They're totally up our alley. Right. About butt smell and all that stuff. Yeah. So I posted an ad of theirs on our Facebook page and said, hey, has anybody tried this stuff? And, and our listeners Yes. They're like, my son uses it because he's disgusting and it right. works. It's the only thing that works. Yes. So now you have been trying it for a week. I've been having it. I had it for a week. Now they come in a variety of ways. There's brick soap. There's the traditional deodorant. Stick. Stick. And then there's the uh, lotion type of way of per- using it, which right. I think people use for like the cracks inside their inner thigh or under their boobs or in their butt yeah. crack. Well, I mean, let's be real. If you go to their website or, and you read the comments or even the suggestions they, what I love about this this brand is they respond to comments. They do, yes. and it's adorable. And and they're very and they're as honest as their response and comments as they are with their marketing technique. Yes, they're very much you know. For example, so they talk about you know you're going to put it on your lips, you're going to put it on your vagina lips, you're going to put it on your labia, you know mm-hmm. you can put it on your butthole. You yeah, know what I mean they're very honest about what the product is intended to do. Yes, you can put it anywhere where smell comes. Absolutely, and they don't shy away from the the awkward parts of our bodies no because that's the problem with women we're ashamed of those parts of our bodies totally yes so um this you you got the sample of the of the lotions and they come in these little tubes and i believe there's six i'm gonna say six i think you're right yeah and it's the variety packs they all come in different flavors or flavors smells smells it's like Um, the body works yeah and for your butt of course i favor (laughs) the citrus and the lavender Ooh, but it also comes in like vanilla Mm -hmm. and jasmine i mean so they have some really good flavors they do smell a little less traditional than what you would assume like you know like your body lotions Uh, Uh, I would agree with you, but then I thought, well, it's deodorant, so it has to have the stuff. So whatever is in it that they use to actually stop the odor is, you can smell, that is present when you smell it, when you apply it. Yes. However, when it's actually doing its job, you don't smell that. Oh, that's nice. All you smell is the, is the scent. Because I hate when I smell my deodorant. I do too. And it's very light. So like... The thing about it is I have tried every single kind of odorant, deodorant known to mankind. Yeah. I have tried the clinical kind, the kind mm. prescription kind. I've all even of tried them. the crystal kind. I have too. I hate it. Because I don't want to smell like anything. No, like, I don't I like Like I literally want to be odorless if yeah. I could be. <laughs> yeah. I'm the same. So I, you know, and none of them have ever worked 100% where I was totally satisfied. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm always going to use this product. Yeah. I still found myself hunting and hunting and hunting. So with this thing... I literally am odorless <gasps> with the very, very minimal exception of of getting a hint of whatever of it citrus is. citrus or jasmine. Of lavender, lavender or whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, and, that, and I literally like buried my nose in my pit. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I did it when I first put it on and then I waited. And so I shower every day yeah, too. Yeah. And I generally shower in the morning unless I'm having like a day where I'm sure. cleaning all day and then I'll wait till the afternoon or the evening. But for the most part, that's my routine. So I waited until the whole next day when I was getting ready to get in the shower in the morning and I did it again. That's how brave I was. That's awesome. And I'm scared because I don't generally like to <laughs> I smell don't want to anything. Smell. I don't want to smell I do skin. not. I don't want to smell myself. No. I don't want to smell someone else. So, right. and I could not smell an effing thing. That's amazing. I was like, this shit works. I was oh like, my God. oh my God. So I will tell you, um, I am, I'm, next time I see you, bring me Got a sample. Got Absolutely. Bring it because. Had I known you gave it all I, to me, I would have brought three of them. Here's the reason i did not know how much product you would need to try it you don't need a lot but i was gonna say you probably don't need a lot i it's... use about um a half a dollar size mm-hmm. and i will For cover both pits. both pits and my lady parts really and that's all i need that's 
That's amazing. I've never needed more. That's amazing. Yeah. So, and I don't do my butthole, but I did no, do my crack. You can do the crack, but see, the reason that I was curious about it is, as you can see in my studio, I work out, oh, yeah. and I work out probably three days a week. Right. And there is my pits never smell. Right. But uh, you know. I got other body parts. And I wear a... My husband says girls are like science experiments. (laughs) Okay. I know. It really pissed me off the first time he said it, but then I'm like, you know, he's not wrong. Well, there's a lot. (laughs) There's a lot. We're very acid heavy. That's true. And so after I work out, I'm like, you know, really, uh, (laughs) I can't get in the shower fast enough. Right. Because, you know, there's certain things that I cannot necessarily use my deodorant on. Right. And so, you know, and I am like you. I have bloodhound, too, on top of it. I do, So I can be fully clothed in my workout clothes and go, uh, yeah. I smell something for like two seconds. This is no bueno. And so (laughs) I have to immediately shower. And then I want to literally burn my clothes. Right. So... Now I'm like, okay, I want Stephanie to try it because I know she's almost more obsessed about not smelling than me. And then we will see how it goes. So I, I we're doing it. We're, we're and absolutely like we are not. Jamie did not say we're getting money for this or we're no. no I literally just no was like you know what I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to be my usual weird self and not want to mm-hmm. talk about it. I'm just going to do it, just and do it. I'm going to be as honest as I can. Yes, and I'm and telling it works. you, it's ex- it, to me, it's expensive. I know that it's not. Well, the thing is, though, is probably depends on how much. But, if you're not using that much, and it's going to last you more than a yeah. month, it's worth it. So right now, I only have the sample, so it's kind of d- difficult to gauge, yes. like how much I would use if I had the full size bottle yes. and how long that would last. But you can also do subscription programs, and it's yes. less. Yeah, for sure. So, but I'm totally going to do it. I cannot not see myself not going using back. it now. How can you go back? I really. So the links that so our partnership is going to be live. My guess is that producer double have all of the links and everything up uh, when this show posts tomorrow or Sunday. And um we're gonna just p- push the shit out of it. Yeah. F- ugly you endorsed. Will love it. Ugly endorsed. And I know that some of our listeners already use it and they make their ch- their sons use it, which is like yes. the ultimate endorsement. And and my son is still very young, so he still smells like baby, which yes, is awesome. Course. But he will eventually get there and I can yeah. see me doing it. And so if you're if you're not comfortable touching yourself with the lotion, they do have the traditional deodorant yeah. pads. They I want also, the soap now. They have the bars of soap, which I kind of really want to try. I do too. Because if you can do it in the shower or whatever. Well, and the other thing is, is like. it can remove odor too. How I've told you I used some of the really strong. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, I've had a hard time to wear, to getting them off. That's the problem. Yeah. Like when I'm in the shower and I'm scrubbing, I actually have to use like my husband's bar soap like to I get some of that shit off. Like I can literally smell the deodorant well, still. Well, like, it feels like a film. It's like, yeah. I, it doesn't even let the water penetrate yeah. me. So with this stuff, I was curious to know. Will it come off? Like, will it? So because I'm using the lotion and it's on my fingers, mm-hmm. well, I always put my makeup on after I, yes. so I make sure that I wash my hands. Yes. It literally washes off oh, like nice. water. Water soluble. So it's so nice. Oh my God. So, all right. So Loom, Lumi. Lume. Lume. Uh, we will be pushing <laughs> the shit out of it. Someone please correct us and tell us what it is. Yes. I'd love to I mean, know. we could probably just watch the ad and find out. That's why I thought it was yeah. Loom. Yeah. It, it might be Loom. You know what? I, you know, I my memory know. is like five minutes long. Who knows? So I'll have to uh, look. The gnats, <laughs> the, the, the minds of gnats tell you to find, to try loom. Anyway, so you will see a bunch of it now that it's yeah. fully endorsed by the Uggs. And uh, we really encourage you to try it. And of course, you will be getting discounts when you go. Oh, I mean, there's yay. all kinds of cool stuff. That's awesome. And, you know, I mean, we actually aren't going to make a ton of money if you guys buy it. But, I mean, we're so... It takes so long to find something that I actually <laughs> willingly want to endorse. Me too. And so this is one of them. I don't so. endorse boo. Me so neither. I really like this Me one. Me either. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Well, I think that's the show. Well, no, there was something else. Uh, Uggs. Oh, we're too, we're too late for that. It's too late. We'll do it next yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's the show. Please rate and review us on your favorite. We are on Spotify. We are on iTunes. We are on literally everything at this point. And I do listen to the show afterwards, and they yeah. are damn funny. I'm sorry. I know they are. I don't know if I'm just laughing at myself no. or what, but... They are funny. There, there are ones like, Daryl will go, I need you to listen to this! And so he'll <laughs> press play, and I'll listen. I'm like, that's pretty funny. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> right? I can't help myself. And, uh, I'm and a I, dork, but yes, I do think I'm not. I'm funny. I think the show's funny. I really love talking shit about celebrities, and I know it's not nice. I and know. I don't really care. We'll, we'll try to find something more interesting. We so will. We don't just, yeah. Well, we're going to talk about ourselves next week because I have a couple of stories okay. I want to talk with you about. Yeah. That um, I was thinking I might make a quiz for you and 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 ask you questions okay. because I know you literally better than almost anyone. So you want to think if you know me better. And- I want to think of things that I don't know about you. Oh, okay. Because I know everything about you. And then sure, see I'm pretty you'll... secretive. You might not know. Um, also, <laughs> really? Um, yeah, okay, I don't yay. tell. I don't tell anybody anything. Well, I'm not going to 
ask you anything, you know. I know what you're saying. Um, well, the problem is, is that you were involved in all of my hijinks. I mean, you know so yeah. much about me. Well, but... I'm talking more of like, you know, quirks and, and, oh, and yeah. like hijink things. Or just oh, yeah. Strange Absolutely. things that sure. I was thinking about. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, and you don't get a preview. I, that's fine. I might send it to producer Doug. I would rather not, actually. I hate well, yeah. being prepped. I, I would just want to be, I want to be as random as possible. Yeah, that's my point. I did find a quiz that I'm curious about. Um, how irritated are you? Oh, God, 100%. And, exactly. So it may not be <laughs> what you've been percent. doing. But the but the things that they say is like, does this irritate you? Does that irritate you? I'm like, like yes, check, check, Some check. Some like, yes, I hate everything. I'm 100% irritated. I wake irritated. up almost irritated every morning. Wake up angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a difference for me between anger and irritation. Yeah, that's I true. do. I, I, irritation is like having a gnat flying around me. I'm like, oh, get away. Please, I get irritated when Daryl doesn't get out of bed fast enough. Jamie, same. I'm laying today, in fact. I'm laying I in bed. I think I told you that story. Like, open the blinds. <laughs> He's like, it's 6.05. I'm like, and. I remember I was laying in bed. This happens every Saturday. We get into a fight every Saturday morning. <laughs> Because I'll lay in bed because, you know, he gets up really early for work. And then he's like, no, 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 during the week. And then on Saturday, he lollygags because he doesn't have to get up. And I'm like, that's nice. It's the best feeling. It's great. And so I'm laying in bed. You know, we have coffee together. Everything's great. And then like by 830, my bowels are going, why isn't he up yet? Like, get out. I I need to do things. And so I'll lay there and I'll start shifting around. And I'm like, so what are you doing today? And he's like, and we go through this every fucking Saturday. And he hasn't figured it out yet. No. Every Saturday. I go, so what are you doing? He goes, oh, I don't know. What do you want to do today? I'm like, well, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do some things. And he's like, okay. He's like, I go, what about you? When are you getting up? (laughs) He's like, (laughs) he's like, so nice. He's like, well, I guess I'm getting up now to get dressed. I'm like, like, well, that'd be great. (laughs) In fact, last week. Can you hurry up? Actually, today I was like, you know, Stephanie's going to be here in an hour. (laughs) Which is like a blink. I know. And he goes, um, all right. Oh, you guys were still like lollygagging? Well, Maybe it was it was more than an hour, but it was like, you know, and so I go, and I have, sh- I have things to do. And he's like, um, okay. And I go, so what are you going to do today? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so he gets up. He should have, it's like predictive text. He should have known what was coming next. Well, it's like the same thing when he asked me at three o'clock, what's for dinner every fucking day? And it's like, no. why do you ask? I don't know. And I don't care, old man. And I don't know. Whatever it is, you will eat it. So I'm stop. Like, no. So the other day, this is really brief, but the other day, with pandemic, we have been, everybody has been ordering, right? Oh, yeah. Everything gets delivered. Yes. Well, the problem with that is that you have these ginormous boxes yes. that are everywhere. Yeah. That's and true. the recycle bin guy only comes every other week, I right? Know. So our thing is full, like three days after they come and pick it up. I, I get stressed out. Right? And so I'm like, okay, shit. So I, Jerry can look at a box, step over a box, go around a box. <laughs> Forever. I, he God. does not care if it's sitting on the floor in the living room forever. He doesn't care. It fucking makes me insane. You're like, I shouldn't have to be the one. Right? Yeah. So I have resigned myself to like, you know what? I found a spot in the backyard. It's on the side of the house, close to the fence that goes mm-hmm. to the front yard. We'll just put it there. And that is the... where the boxes get stacked. Biggest one on the bottom and the smaller ones start to go and inside. Then you'll, then you'll just put it in the thing. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then if it empty. doesn't all go in one week, then in the following time yeah. it will go. And then that's yeah. when it will happen. Right? We, yes, we do that. So mm-hmm. I didn't know that apparently this irritates him. I had no idea. What? He can't be bothered to go in the backyard and get the boxes that I have oh stacked God. on the side of the house. I don't want to even know how many right? boxes are over there. No, not that many. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, because they go, that we put them in the thing. Oh, so he so, just gets mad that he has to do it. At all. Oh. He would rather them sit in the living room floor so that when he feels like it, he will take them out front. <laughs> because it's so, like 10 more steps that he has to take. So they can sit there for every other week. Right? <laughs> so, and I can't vacuum. I no, can't sweep no, or mop. No. I mean, they're, I'm literally pushing them around and it makes me crazy so the other day me not knowing that this irritates him I go there's there's two giant boxes that have been sitting in my one room forever and I'm mm. like you know what I'm so over this and when I say forever I'm talking a week it's a long time it's a fucking long time <laughs> so yes. I pick I'm cleaning I'm in my mode to where I'm literally like practically sweating you're I'm bleaching you're I'm doing everything yes yes the I, all is my out. hair's in a, a messy pony I'm literally like going sweating. for it yes yeah. everything is getting done and I'm in my mode so I grab these boxes I open the sunning glass door and as I walk out I hear Wait in the back of the house. No! <laughs> and I'm like, is that what? no directed at me? You know, what? I don't know. I did not think it was directed at me. Yeah. I thought it was, he was like watching a show or something. Right, right. So I come back in and I'm like, what are, are you yelling for? He's like, don't put those freaking boxes in the backyard again. I'm like, why? He's like, because it's a pain in the ass or whatever else. He's like, I was going to take him out to the garage. No. I'm like, really? Well, then do it! <laughs> I was like, what were 
are you going to do it? <laughs> Three weeks from now when you were going to clean up the water glass that's been sitting on the coffee table? Oh I'm like, God. God. I'm like, oh, I freaking so hate you. True. I was like, so then I was thinking like reverse psychology. I'm like, well, if he hates it so much because he can't stand to see him there, that usually is motivation for him to actually take them out. Yeah. So now I'm double doing it. Good. Now they're sitting there for like half a day. And I'm like, mm-hmm. oh no, these are going out to the backyard. Yeah. That's what you get. That's what you get for complaining. Right? Lazy. No, I was just grateful that I finally found something you that found irritated the thing. him. You found the thing. And I was now, like, yay. Something action. That, because everything he does irritates me. Action not worse. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Bye.